Hello there. So you're here to watch the storm with me. Oh, the storm is here. It took some time to warm up, but it's here now. Listen. That sounds so good. It just makes me feel good to hear that because I know there's going to be a cleansing that's going to happen and a rejuvenation. Oh, definitely a rejuvenation. You feel that? You will, You see that energy? Well, I guess you can feel it too. Kind of reminds me of when I heard a lion roar in the first, you know, for the first time. I was in a village near Lake Manyara in Tanzania. And yeah, I was up there with um, the village people there. And it was really cool because after I got stuck in Mount Maru, overnight <laughs> I got brave and I wanted to go camping but on purpose this time so a friend of mine took me to um, Lake Manyara and we had a sleep out we slept over I think it, I stayed there about three days in the mountain and we rented a tent and um, because I wanted to go and see elephants. <laughs> so we went up into the mountain to go see elephants and sleep out there overnight. And the first night that we were out there, um, it was a whole bunch of commotion going on outside. And what I realized is that the dogs on the property we're trying to keep away hyenas from our tent that we were sleeping in by Lake Manyara in the mountains somewhere in Tanzania. Okay, so yeah, I when I travel, I try to think of the quote that I heard um, and the person who said the quote. His name is Kwame Nkrumah. And Kram, Kwame Nkrumah was the president, I want to say, or the leader of, could be prime minister, I'm not sure what they would designate him as, of um, Ghana. And what he said was, to live is to have no fear. So that's how I've been traveling for the last three or four years is not having any fear because I know that I am covered. I slept outside with leopards overnight and I didn't plan on it, but that's what happened. And I survived because I wasn't alone. Um, I definitely had <laughs> God looking out for me and myself looking out for me because of the God in me that kicked in whatever survival skills that I read about or watch on, you know, TV or whatever. I put in place that night in Mount Maru and I made it out. But that night I literally had to sleep by the waters just knowing that I was protected because I originally went down the mountain, and that's another story, because I thought you just, like, walked to a waterfall in my mind that day, because I knew I wasn't dressed to go into the mountain. And we had a journey. Anyway, there's a video on it where I think I said I slept with uh, leopards. 
but those leopards were in the mountains of Mount Meru in Arusha, Tanzania. And it's also the second largest mountain in all of Africa. So with that being said, it's fun and I enjoy waiting with nature, you know. It makes me reminisce and remember different times I walked in rain in various places throughout the world and just feeling at peace. It's a wonderful, beautiful feeling. And there's no amount of money in the world that can give you that feeling. It's just something you have to experience to know, especially if you are um, healed in nature or by nature, you know, it's, it's chill. See that light there? I don't know if you saw it. Ooh, I hear it. You hear the thunder? You hear the rain? You have to go through the rain to get to the sunshine, don't you? Yes. I sure do. You sure do. You have to go through the rain to get to the sunshine. Just give it time. Anyway, that's my time. I'm out.